Now let's come back and answer these three, three questions which are FAQ, so the frequently asked questions in your dry cell. The first question, what is the role of MnO2? Now we have seen the role of zinc as an anode, we have seen the role of cap carbon as a cathode and we have also seen the role of electrolytic paste that is ammonium chloride zinc chloride. Now basically MnO2, if I have to write, it acts as a polarizer, okay, I'll tell you what it is polarizer that means basically whenever you're speaking in terms in olden days they used to use this term whenever you're using an electrolytic cell batteries in this way they act as an oxidizing agent they will not prevent hydrogen bubbles to come out okay so basically if i have to say polarizers are those which will participate in the reaction right they act as oxidizing agents and how can i prove this when i have to see okay let me write polarizer that is oxidizing agents okay you can write this like this and how can I say this? Here what happened in the reaction MnO2 <coughs> after combining with ammonia it has formed what did it form? NH4 plus it has formed a complex like this MnO and OH and ammonia gas ammonia evolved out this combined with zinc. So now here the oxidation state of ammonia oxygen is minus 2 2 to the 4 so this is plus 4. Here when I see the oxidation state is plus 3. Now isn't it acting as an oxidizing agent? Yes. So this is the thing. So remember it acts as a polarizer. That means it will act change in oxidation state point number 1. It will not allow hydrogen bubbles to evolve in the particular cell. Done. This is the role. Right. Now next important, this is basically the olden day concept, right, let's come back and see. Are dry cells dry give reasons? Now, basically whenever we take dry cell, important, you have to remember that there is an electrolyte. It, is a, it contains a wet paste of electrolyte, that is ammonium chloride and zinc chloride. First let us write, dry cell has or dry cell is made up of, of a wet paste. That is what is a wet paste? It is a combination of ammonium chloride and zinc chloride. Done. This is the ammonium chloride and zinc chloride. Right. Now, what will happen till the ammonium chloride and zinc chloride are wet in nature or moist in nature? This will work. Once they dry up, this will also dry up. It will not work anymore. That is why we call it as dry cell. What are we trying to say? It has a wet paste that is a combination of ammonium chloride and zinc chloride. You right. Once this or once the moisture of this wet paste moisture of this wet paste dries we call it as we call it as dry cell dry cell it will not work anymore so that's why it is dry it is not dry basically it, if that moisture dries up we call this dry cell now are dry are dry cells indefinite in life that means can we use it for longer time first of all we said primary batteries why are we calling primary batteries first thing if the paste dries up this will not work i can't reverse the reaction next important thing is the ammonium chloride whatever is there i said okay let us answer this are dry cells indefinite in nature first right no now write the reason why now the ammonium chloride which is here as an electrolyte is acidic in nature when I come when I see the I know it is a salt it is when I uh, see it's the strength it is acidic in nature what will happen whenever this battery is not in use okay this ammonium chloride being acidic it tries to combine with the zinc and starts corroding it Though, do, though you don't use, you'll find that oozing thing, right? So this ammonium chloride combines with zinc and starts corroding the whole battery. So I, there is no specific or definite life to dry cell. Let us write that. No, since ammonium chloride is acidic and it combines with zinc and corrodes it and corrodes it that's it this is the answer right so those that is the first dry cell cell reactions these are the questions which are asked